road to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner. Thank you for watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. This week, our guest is Nani Cross of Kitengela Glass Studio. Welcome to our show. Thank you. It's really an honor to meet you. Very kind. Tell us how your journey started. We started 40 years ago and um, we started making glass because of the, it, it's so expensive to, to buy glass and to bring glass in and to import glass. In fact, any importing is still expensive. So, yeah, so we decided that to use old glass was better than making new or importing. What ignited the idea of recycling glass? We recycle glass because we make new glass and because somebody had to do it. It's um, because if you can't import it, make mm. it. Mm. And you've achieved that. I and mean, it, it's everybody worked, yeah. knows about Kitengela glass. And they come from America and they say, my house is full of Kitengela glass, make me some more. Mm. And they come from all over the world saying that. Besides the glass, what else, what else do you produce? We do everything. We do pottery, we do a lot of metal work, which we need as well also for the, for our, uh, for the glass itself and uh, we do felting now which I'm very proud of made from raw wool and also quite still unknown some people do it I'm glad to hear you can do anything from hats to shoes to shawls in fact I should have put a shawl on for my uh, for the the felting and of course teaching and teaching art and uh, artists from all over uh, whether and what I came from was the mural side, you know, I painted murals, a lot of murals, and we're still painting murals. I have a young man here at the moment who will be painting a mural at the, at the Steiner School next door, the, Rudolf, the Waldorf School. We're painting an over-life-size mural of Mandela, and I think that's going to be really great fun for, for the students. And we do organic farming, and I do believe in clean farming, not all this pesticide. We do bees, of course, biogas and solar. Why choose this location for the studio? It chose me and we were here and the, the land was, was for sale in those days. And, um, and, and, um, and, and I needed a home and I needed to do something um, further with, um, well, my kids needed to go to school. I need to, I need to make some money as well. Take us through the process of creating such beautiful glass. Stained glass, uh, for example, tables. You make a cartoon with um, whatever you're doing, whether it's your figure or an animal or a landscape, and then you, each piece has a, uh, has a has to be cut, and you cut it, and then you paint it if you need features or hands or or if it's an animal, uh, any other features, then you fire it in a kiln where the paint sinks into the top layer of the glass and stays there forever, with any luck, if it doesn't break. <laughs> and then you take it out and then you put lead cames around it. And the lead gets then gets cut at the right end and gets soldered at the bits. The whole thing gets puttied over with the putty gets washed on top of it, cleaned up, a frame put around it if it's to hang and you hang it. Uh, where do you get your glass from? We try and make most of the glass ourselves. Um, although we still import some because the colors of what we make is not as strong as what is sometimes asked for. I have a rolling machine. We put, um, we take a, a daub of hot glass, molten glass, we put it in the rolling machine, we roll it, comes out as a sort of pancake. Yeah. And that then sits in the annealer, which is the part of the uh, furnace of the oven that cools the glass down to only 800 to 500 degrees and has to sit there overnight and come back. Mm. Next morning you pull it out and then you can use it for that. Do you buy the glass from people, for example? Or no, we Just don't in case buy somebody them. has a, <laughs> a lot of glass that they want to recycle, do they, can they bring them to you so you can buy from them? We have bottle banks all over town. Everybody puts it in the bottle bank. And um, uh, occasionally when I have a car, then I'll go and collect them. But no, I certainly don't buy. I have more bottles than I can deal with. And um, I think people should pay me for taking their bottles. To clean the environment also. Absolutely. And as I said before, you can do 
um, you can do so much with bottles. You don't have to melt them down. You can crush them and use them for, uh, for cocotta. You can make whole bottle banks. Because you said some of these pieces must be imported. The, gla the stained glass pieces must be imported. So who did you initially market to? People started knowing about us, and um, and people knew me beforehand from the from the mosaic side, uh, from the mural side. You know, when I did all the big walls, mm. so they came and they said, um, "This we need this wall or that wall," and I said, "Don't do walls anymore. You have to take stained glass now." So <laughs> that's how more or less it came. It has been word of mouth for you. Yeah, pretty much. I've hardly ever advertised as such. I wouldn't know how. I've got one ongoing advertisement in an international glass magazine which tells people to come to Africa, come and study glass, work with us, both um, you know the glass side and the, and the farm side, and, uh, but I don't think I ever get any answers there. We have one, one uh, outlet at Galleria in the craft market there and um, Spinner's Web very kindly give us a corner and otherwise people have to just come here. And basically what we do and, and hope, try to live on is the commissions, and that's big walls. If any of your viewers um, know about the um, museum wall, the International Museum, is a big wall in the front there. Mm. Then there's uh, walls in a lot of the banks and, um, and churches, of course. Consolata have a very nice thing. Um, the Way of the Cross is there. And... Um, yeah, that's basically where I hope people will see and know and call me when they need us. And what does it take to run a business such as yours? Well, find enough money to build a furnace <laughs> and to buy the gas, then collect lots of empty bottles of which you can have plenty from me, I have enough, and start or go, go and learn to blow glass. And you can do that here with us, we, we do teach. Um, but there's lots of other things you can do with glass. Like we said before, you can use it for all sorts of things. You don't have to blow. Yeah. But if you want to do it as a blowing business... Blowing is expensive, you say, yes, because of the it's gas. Expensive. And, um, but as a business, it really isn't a business, you know. It's an art form. So most of my people here are all artists. Or if they haven't been artists before they started, they certainly come out as artists. Because you need to and artisans. You need to learn to, what can you make out of this bottle? You know, we can cut it here, we can turn it this way or that way, we can crush it and use it for cocotta, or we can hang it from the top there and, and make it be a wind chime. Um, there's so many things, and of course stained glass is only one of them, making windows for churches, or for anybody for that matter, or then my my later, not latest, but later um, technique, which is dull de verre blocks, blocks of, of molten recycled glass set into concrete for big walls, which can be, uh, which you see lots of in town. We've made really quite a few by now. And in all over East Africa, really. Mm -hmm. Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, I've made them. I've, I've shown our glass everywhere and used it. What would you say um, would be your challenges? Money. I mean, if it's money you want, don't go into glass or art for that matter. Although some of the artists now um, helping the artists and they actually are making some sort of living. I would like to remind your, your public that for the last um, is it six years now? Yes, for the last six years I've been bringing out the Arts Diary, which shows an, an artist a week and there's 64 weeks a year, I think, isn't it? And, it <laughs> and they're all they're there and they're featured and they can show everybody what they do and how they do it and, um, and then can be reached through the diary. So that, yes, that is, I'm, I'm very proud of the diary, but don't ask me, everything is voluntary there. I mean, we do, we do it for for the goodness and for the for the will and for the love of art and the artists and the youngsters as much as some old ones how many people do you work with it depends as uh, it's between 80 and 40 depends on if we have got lots of good jobs then I, i'll call some back that are waiting in the wings 
but of course it's the animals on the farm and the and we do have uh, some uh, visitors and they need to be looked after all the time if they're there mm. but the art side mm. yeah i have my steady my my group of people who are reliable and and trained and very good at it you talked about your the school the, the vocational school and the different schools that you have yeah. uh, not only in Kitengela but um, within Nairobi they've become independent okay. they've grown up but my school here is is, is still my school because it really is, was the first baby of the Waldorf school or the Rudolf Steiner school and what are the charges so the Rudolf Steiner school it's mostly sponsored children a lot of poor children and uh, refugee kids who really can't anything do anything and they and, and we have uh, we do sponsoring all over the world, a lot in Germany, mm. um, Europe, and some in America, and here, of course, I have so many sponsored kids. What would you like your legacy to be? As trying to keep the environment as beautiful and as clean and as good for us and our children as possible. And of course, yeah, and teach the children something that is useful for them and makes them into good people. Yeah, even if it takes puppetry to teach them. And of course that's what vocational school is all about, to teach them to use their beautiful hands. There isn't a child or a youngster in Kenya that hasn't got a wonderful skill. Don't tell me anybody says, oh I can't draw, or oh, I can't model. Try it and you'll see. Most wonderful artists in everyone. Try, do something. Yeah. You're Thank welcome. you so much, Nani, for inviting us You're welcome. and for allowing us in your space. We really have enjoyed ourselves and lunch quite a bit. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Don't go away. to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.